Oi, oi! Endcubes Gaming here, and today we're going to talk about the Fighters Pass, the next Fighters Pass that's going to be coming out. When it's going to come out, we don't know. So, but all we know is that all DLC has to come out within two years' time. But today we're going to do my own Fighters Pass, the characters that I would like to see in a Fighters Pass, and what I'd like to see in Smash. Now, before, if you guys know. I have said characters here, there, and everywhere, but I'm going to condense it down. I thought about it, and now these are the characters that I really want to see in Smash. But not only that, after this, we're going to actually do a Fighters Pass on characters who I think are going to be in Smash. Um, just speculation and just my own opinions, really. So let's just get straight into it. But before that, we could do some sort of, like, Fighters Pass bingo. Write what characters you think I'm going to say, and if I say it, tick it off, and let's see who actually wins the Fighter Pass bingo. Kind of like a little mini-game in this video. How cool is that? Let's get started. So the first character I would like to see released in my personal Fighters Pass would be Marina Lightyears. You guys know I've been talking about her all this time. I even did a video on her, what a potential moveset could be and like a stage, a final smash, and literally a overall moveset. And I will be playing Mischief Makers eventually. And if you're going back on this video, I've probably already played it by now. But it's a really good game. It's on Nintendo 64, uh, one of Nintendo 64 e eras. So it's that sort of game. So I recommend you guys check out some videos on that. And if not, check out my stream, which I'll be doing hopefully soon on it. I keep saying hopefully soon, but you know. But Marina Light Years would be a great addition to Smash. Um, she's a throwing character. I know we got kind of got that with Incineroar, kind of. But um, this character is based on throwing. Think of a Mega Man, female Mega Man that throws pretty much and yeah I would just love to see it in here and I think she's completely underrated and I would just love to have an amiibo of her I don't know why but she just seems really cool to me and more importantly the amiibo I wish I had an amiibo of her coming from the PlayStation and Nintendo 64 era again you could say is Glover he was both on the PlayStation and Nintendo 64 I played the PlayStation version um, and he's a great character he could um, fight with his ball, um, which is a crystal that you have to collect in Glover's game. You, you can transform the ball into multiple different things. So I believe it is, well, this I say the ball, the crystal. Um, you start with the crystal, you can transform it into a big bouncy rubber ball. You can change it into, I believe it's a bowling ball. And then you can transform it into, I, I don't even know what it is, like a baseball or a golf ball? I think it's a golf ball. And... Um, yeah, you could probably do that as his potential moveset would be amazing. So if you guys haven't seen Glover, another game I need to play and show you guys. Um, one of my childhood games. And yeah, I think Glover would be a great addition. And another thing could be Master Hand's son. Because he's a glove. So <laughs> that technically can get Master Hand in without having Master Hand in it. <laughs> the next fighter is none other than Shantae. I haven't played a Shantae game, but I have got a Shantae game. You know, it's another game that I want to play. I need to get to at some point. But she has purple hair. Do I need to say any more? But what I've seen of her and the demand for Shantae has been quite high. Yeah, put her in Smash. I think she'll be a great addition. And as I said before, purple hair. I'm a big fan of purple. It just makes sense to me. Another character who I think should be in Smash is none other than Skull Kid. I love Skull Kid's design. I love Majora's Mask. Not as much as, obviously, Ocarina of Time, but Majora's Mask is definitely up there with all the Zelda games I've played. One of the best. Um, and I like his design. It'd be great to just play as Skull Kid in a game. I mean, Hyrule Warriors, you've got that game where you can play as Skull Kid. But we want him in Smash. A lot of people have been begging and wanting Skull Kid in Smash for ages. I think we do need a different Legend of Zelda rep. As I said before, going back to what I said about a young Link that can wear masks from a Jaws mask, maybe even Fierce DT Link. That's another Link I know, but it's different. Or just another villain. Another character that I would like to see in Smash, I've been a big fan of Metal Sonic for ages. I think Metal Sonic should be in Smash. I know he's a spirit, but you know, we don't know what this whole situation is with spirits are. But before, any other character I liked, I like Metal Sonic. I mean, I don't think he will be an Echo Fighter. I can actually see him have his own personal moveset. If you guys played the Sonic Fighters game, he's got his unique moveset in there. And I could actually think of a proper moveset for him. So he could be like a semi-Echo Fighter. The same what Ganondorf is. So maybe all his basic attacks can be like Sonic's, but when it comes to his special, it's completely different. Um, and I would love to see 
Metal Sonic in Smash. I really would. It's one of my favorite characters of Sonic and yeah, I'd love to see him in there. Now, if you guys don't know me well enough by now, you must know what my final pick is. Can you guys guess? I'll give you a few seconds to guess. Can you think who it is? It is none other than Master Chief. I love Halo. I love Halo as much as I love Super Smash Brothers, and I would love to see Master Chief in Smash. It will be so amazing to have Master Chief. I think this is how, if my fighter pass, if I could choose the characters, this would be how my fighter pass would be, and what positions the characters. It would be so amazing to have these characters in. So, this is now official of my Fighters Pass. This is the official Ant Keeps Gaming Fighters Pass. So, this is what I'd like to see 100%, but I know it's not going to come true, but I would love to see this so much. So guys, let me know what you think of my picks. Now we're going to go on to who I think we're going to get. Let's reset the Fighters Pass. Okay, so now the Fires Pass has been reset, let's see who I think we're going to get. The first character who I feel that we're going to get in the Fires Pass is none other than Crash Bandicoot. I chose Crash because I feel like he deserves to be in there, and I know that's their argument. Oh, you shouldn't go on a character based on if he or she deserves it or not, um, or if it, this character is more iconic or anything like that. I know what Sakurai said, it doesn't matter if they're iconic or not, it depends if they are fun to play. And I can see people having fun with Crash. So I think Crash will be the first reveal to make people buy the second Fighters Pass. I mean, it could be someone else. I mean, look at Joker. We didn't know who Joker was, but we all bought the Fighters Pass anyway. So, <laughs> but I think Crash will be the second in the second Fighters Pass. I definitely think he will. As my number one pick. The second character who I think will be revealed in the Fighters Pass is none other than RL Nudger. I hope I said her name correctly. I always get her name wrong and I apologise. I butcher names, it's me, okay? I feel like there was a lot of evidence for her leading up to the last fighter. We didn't get her, but I think she's going to be pushed back into the second Fighters Pass because she's got a lot going for her. Even though myself, personally, I haven't played any Puro Puro games or Puro Puro Tetris games. Um, she looks interesting. And it wouldn't surprise me if she did get in because it would be from like the Tetris slash Puyo Puyo series. So I really can see her joining Smash. The next character who I feel would be the third character in the next Fighters Pass would be Cub Fu. Now, I'm trying to work the dates out. And if I've worked the dates out right, I think the DLC comes out the same time as maybe the third fighter but don't quote me on it so it'd be the perfect time to have cub fu join smash brothers the same time as the dlc to promote pokemon sword and shield dlc if you think about it we didn't get a pokemon rep in the base game um from pokemon sword and shield we did get spirits but maybe it's to promote more the dlc than it is to promote the actual game itself but that's just my take on it but when I saw Cub Fu straight away, I thought Smash. I was like, oh my god, this will be a great Smash character. And I still think Cub Fu will get into Smash. I think we'll, st we'll still get a Pokemon, but it'll be Cub Fu. Because why would they make him a bear that looks like a fighting person? Or even look like Ryu. Like, he's got a furry headband thing. Come on. That is just saying something, isn't it? But again, that's just speculation. It could not be true. I said, this is just you know, who I think. It's not confirmed or anything, but, you know, I think the full fight is going to be Steve. On the podcast I'm part of, called A New Podcast Approaches, we was discussing about Steve, saying about Steve on Master Chief. Even though I love Master Chief to bits and I think he should be in Smash, I think Steve will get him more. Not because, well, it's kind of like he deserves it, but it's more of like, think of what Minecraft has done. 
Minecraft is on phones, Minecraft is on the Switch, Minecraft is on PlayStation, Minecraft is on Xbox. It's even on the older consoles as well, so PlayStation 3, Xbox 360. Minecraft is everywhere. And now they've got cross-play, now they've got cross-play between all of them. You can play with anyone, anywhere, all the time. And that is amazing in itself. Think of getting that kind of character into Smash. That will be amazing. I think the fifth DLC fighter is going to be none other than Ryu Hayabusa. I've never played a Ninja Gaiden game. I hope I said it correctly. Or anything with Ryu Hayabusa in. But he will make quite a good character. I mean, we've already got sort of like a ninja character in Sheik already in Smash. But I think he could play a bit differently. So I would like to see what they do with that. I mean, it would be quite good to have like another like ninja-ish you know, sort of character. I mean, we've got uh, Greninja as well, and then we could have like three ninjas in Smash. So, and I think he would do differently because he could have like a sword where Sheik doesn't have a sword. It'd be quite interesting, like a short sword or something, or even a Cortana, uh, something like that. Um, and like Ninja Stars and maybe Kunai's and stuff throwing. Yeah, I'd like to see that. As for the final fighter in this fighter's pass, the sixth fighter is none other than Waluigi. I think we're going to get Waluigi as the last DLC fighter. I really think we're going to get Waluigi last. Everybody wants him in. I know people say, oh yeah, he's just a meme. But I still think we're going to get Waluigi. Somehow, someway, he is going to be in the next Fighters Pass. He really is going to be in the next Fighters Pass. I can see it. So, that's what I think. Okay, so now you guys at the end of the video, we're going to talk about some honourable mentions. Like, why didn't I put these characters in my fighter passes? Let's just say, well, one was my fire pass and the other one is a speculation sort of fire pass. But we'll mention them anyway. So the first one is Gino. Why didn't I mention Gino? I think Gino could be actually a me fighter. I really think Gino could have a remastered me fighter skin, like remastered, upgraded with a song. Because I, I just can see it more than a fighter now because everyone's me uh, mentioning it and we haven't seen his me costume and that song that got taken down um i think it's forest maze isn't it that got taken down i'm not 100 sure but i think gino will be a me costume now he actually i was actually thinking maybe they'll do a me costume for he actually which they did technically but maybe a remastered version of he actually but i'm not quite sure how i feel about that because it's kind of like indie characters that are getting a really detailed me costume, but we haven't seen like a main game. I mean, they're, they're main games, you know what I mean, but like from a series that's been around with, that has history, uh, been around for ages, like Tekken. I don't know if they'll pull someone from the main series of the games of Tekken and transform into a me fighter. I think that would be a bit um, disgraceful. I think the right word is like putting a Tekken character as a me fire and not an actual fighter. So, yeah, I'm unsure on that one, but I would have to say me fire because we still haven't got a, the Hiachi uh, me fighter. So maybe they're revamping that as well. Who knows? As for Lloyd, I don't think we're going to get Lloyd Irvin just because I know a lot of fans want Lloyd in, but I think because <laughs> that Sakurai knows we don't want more sword fighters in. So that might go against Lloyd, but also I cannot see Lloyd being in the Fighters Pass. As I said, this is all just speculation on my part, doesn't mean it's fact, but it, I could be wrong, and I hope I am wrong, because obviously I want people to have their favourite characters in the game. It's just, this is just all speculation, and it could be this character, or possibly be this character. I'm not saying it is this character, but... This is my picks who I think is going to be in the Fires Pass. So I hope you guys enjoyed it and enjoyed my own personal Fires Pass. If I could design a Fires Pass, those are the characters I would have in it as well. So yeah, I really worked hard in this video, guys. So if you like this video for any reason at all, please subscribe and turn on notifications. So you guys don't miss any live streams I do or any video uploads I do. Please give this video a like. I worked really hard on this. So if you guys could give it a like, it would mean the world to me. And yeah, always remember to keep gaming. And I shall see you guys on the next one. Bye, guys.